students uh, asked me to do a video so I'm gonna do a video for a lot of you guys out there but I'm gonna do it from a friend Rick up in Ohio and uh, I'm gonna start with this video I'm gonna do three different things I'm gonna talk about the major and the minor scale and then I'm gonna do a chicken picking rhythm thing on here and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna talk a little bit about tone how to get a good tone out of an amp and uh, let's just start with the tone section right now to me to get a good tone I mean a lot of your tone comes from your hands, the way you play. I hold my pick like this right here. I mean, there's there's the tip of it. That's really the normal way, like most people hold their pick. They do the pointed end, you know. I've talked about this before, you know. I hold mine uh, this way. That's how I hold my pick. I hold the I hold that between my my finger and my thumb or like that, you know. So you know, getting the tone is really how you play your hands, and you know that magic tone you're looking for is really how you really play. A lot of it is, and but you gotta have a good guitar that stays in tune and sounds good. Your amp over here. I'm playing through this Bandit 65. No pedals today. No pedal board. Just guitar and amp. Here's my cable running from my Right there, going straight into my amp, coming out of my guitar. So, you know, for this amp, and I'm running a humbucker guitar today, Telly, which I like. But, you know, I'm running the lows and the mids uh, a little less than I normally would on just a normal straight Telly. But to get a good sound, you know, really, it's just, it's it's dialing it in the way you like it, the way you like the way it sounds. I like dialing in, the, you know, the bass about four, you know, three to four. The mids maybe up a little bit higher than that, you know, depending on the guitar and the sound you're after. And then I got the highs, you know, about four, maybe the presence about, you know, maybe a minus three. So I'm like, I don't use a lot of presence because I get the high end out of the, the top end, you know, but, uh, and, uh, you know, and I've got the, I've got the post volume, uh, which is your master basically on about four, four and a half. And over here on the pre, I've got it on about two and a half. So I don't really have too much dirty. Also, I'm running the reverb out of the amp. It's on about four, you know. And the reverb. And let's talk about your pedal board. If you got basic, just a basic pedal board, like a tuner, compressor, uh, delay and reverb, maybe an overdrive, and then, you know, uh, delay and reverb, here's how you'd want to run it. You'd come out of your guitar into your tuner out of your tuner, into your compressor, out of your compressor, into your overdrive, and then out of your overdrive, into your uh, delay, and then out of your delay, into your reverb. That's pretty much how I would run a, a really simple pedal board and dial it in how you want to get your tone. For me, it, dialing in a tone for me is the guitar and amp by itself, get the good sound I want, and then take your pedal board and then just kind of tweak it and get more of that sound you want or Maybe add a little overdrive in there, a little dirty in there, whatever you're after, and and kind of setting your pedal board to your amp sound that you dialed in because your amp's like this amp right here. To me, that's a great tone. To start with, if I had my pedal board here and I bring it in, then I might dial it, you know, take my EQ or whatever and dial it up a little bit better. But I could gig with that tone. And that's really, you know, doing a quick video of this, that's really pretty much about the tone there, you know, how you get a tone out of a guitar. You gotta have a good guitar that's in tune, sounds good, you gotta have a good amp, and you know, basically bass on about four, mids on about five or six, you know, treble, maybe flat, maybe four, five in that area. Reverb on about four, you know, master up and, and the gain up a little bit, but 
you know, and if you want to turn your gain up and your master down, you're going to get a lot of distortion. So depends on what you're after there. So that's pretty much, that's a basic way to start right there. You're with your tone. I want to talk about, I want to talk about a couple of scales. I want to talk about the major scale and the minor scale. And we're in the key of G right here. Here's your major scale. for my student in Ohio that's wanting to learn the scale and I told him I'd do this video so let's do it one more time that is your G major scale here's your uh, G minor scale minor pentatonic from baby right there that scale definitely your blue stuff right there you know how that pentatonic so that's that scale and um, so I hope that helps you guys that's that's the beginners that's that doesn't know that scale and you want to learn it that's really important your major scale one more time your minor scale there's a ton of scales I recommend those two scales to learn if you're if you're starting out and want to play guitar learn those two scales and don't worry about the rest of them just learn those two scales and we'll go from there. The other thing is that my friend in Ohio wanted to know was about rhythm. So let's do a little chicken picking rhythm uh, in the key of A. And it goes like this. Killing me today. Your allergies killing you. I forgot to shave today too. I hope you can't see my beard. I hate to shave. Anybody else hate to shave? I hate to shave. And I just do. I just hate to shave. But comes from this, the two fingers on a string. And my pick is doing That's a D ninth. And you're doing this. Slide to the F, F sharp. <coughs> over three subjects your tone uh the two the two scales the major and the minor scale and then a little chicken picking rhythm right there i've also got other chicken picking rhythms that goes into deep uh goes into more depth so uh look for those videos on my page here thanks to you guys for watching uh good luck rick i'll see you next week when we do our next lesson uh, if you'd like to take lessons with me holler at me i'll get you set up 
go to georgeguitars.net and sign up. I'm about full, but I will take a few more Zoom classes. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my videos. My brother's doing better today. Y'all, thanks for people asking about all that stuff too. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, but subscribe and give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I hope this video is helpful, helpful for Rick and helpful for you, the guys that are beginning, that are starting to play a little bit, you know, get out there that needs a little help to get going. So this video is for you guys. This, this video is not for the pro that are out here playing for a living. Most of these guys know all this stuff. But this is for the people that are starting. Like we've all been there. We've all started. So that's what I'm doing is teaching, trying to help people. God bless you guys. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I got a tip, Jerome, here. If you'd like to tip me, I'd appreciate that very much. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Turn up and play loud, y'all. See you later.